So spin is a really strange thing and I'm gonna tell you now that nothing's actually spinning. Hi, my name is Jean. Today I'll be answering your question on quantum spin. So, what is spin? Well, when you hear spin, you'll visualize something like this. But in quantum mechanics, that's not really what spin looks like. Quantum spin doesn't describe a rotating motion, it is an intrinsic property, like um, the weight of this calculator, for example. And it is a property of quantum particles, like electrons or protons. Does the electron actually spin? No, the electron cannot spin, at least not in the way that you would imagine, because it is way too small. It is so tiny that for it to actually rotate, uh, it will have to travel at about a million times the speed of light, which is impossible. But it has angular momentum, which in classical physics, we know that only rotating objects or orbiting objects have. Uh, which is really strange. Now, the electrons have something we call intrinsic angular momentum, which means that it behaves like a spinning object without actually spinning, in a classical sense at least. How do we know the electrons have angular momentum? Um, it's called the stern gerlach experiment, and basically we observe the behaviors of electrons. Right, so we know that when um, charged particles have angular momentum, they produce a magnetic field similar to that of a bar magnets. Uh, which will interact with other magnetic fields. So basically in the experiment, scientists shot a beam of electrons through a magnetic field and see if they interact. Uh, if they do, that means they behave like bar magnets, meaning they have angular momentum. And it turns out that they did. So we know that electrons have angular momentum. So does that mean electrons still spin after all? Well, no. See, it behaves like it does, but um, we don't know where that behavior actually come from. It could come from angular momentum, but we know that that's not possible. Uh, so it has to come from something that we just don't know of. Uh, and we use angular momentum as uh, an analogy of sort. The reality is that quantum mechanics is just so far from uh, what we are used to experience that there's no way for us to truly understand what it is. The best we can do is using analogy. And it's sort of like trying to explain what green looks like to a blind person. Why is it spin up and spin down? It's really just a name made for convenience. Basically, the electrons can be one of two spin states, so they call it up and down. But remember, there's no direction here. Each spin state, it's just simply not the other. Other particles can have different number of spin states and they call different things just because they are those particles and for no other reasons because again, quantum spin is an intrinsic property. So thank you for the questions that I wrote um, and I hope you learned something.